Uh, pass along a little tip. I uh, I didn't come up with this. I got this from a, he's got a YouTube channel. His name's Todd Bethel. I was trying to look for uh, different ways to control the speed on my uh, electric die grinder. I'm kind of new to using the electrics and I bought a cheap one just to see if I'd like it and it doesn't have variable speed because the variable speed ones are a couple three hundred dollars. I think closer to three hundred. And I was looking for a way to slow it down because uh, running wide open, they're just too fast. And I tried to run it like that for a while and I was just annihilating cutters because they'd get to bouncing around and um, just start knocking the teeth off of them. And anyways, I got to looking and I came across his video and I ordered a router speed control. And for some reason, the way these things come, even though they've got all this sweep on them, from the factory they're set up, all they've got is about this much. And it's really not very much. It's probably a few hundred RPM change. And it's just not enough to slow it down to be practical. So he pointed out that there's a potentiometer in here. And you can take them apart and get in there and adjust it. Or, you know, put it back together. See if you like it. Take it back apart. Put it back together. Or you can just drill a hole in it. Because this thing's underneath this hole. And it's actually, my hole's off because I didn't know exactly where to drill. On this one, it really needed to be drilled about on the corner of this uh, green right there. If I would have centered my, my bit up on that, I think I would have been basically dead on on it. But once you drill that hole, you go in there with a flat blade screwdriver. And you can slow down or speed up that to basically make it usable. And right now, I've got it turned down to where all the way down is basically... Uh, it's a little bit slower than practical, but it's pretty slow, as you can tell. I mean, I can grab it and stop it. But as you turn it on up, I run it about in here, but it will run wide open still, so you don't lose any top end. So I don't honestly I don't know why they even didn't come out with that like that stock, but uh, I said I, I don't think it's the best thing on the die grinder to run it super low because because what this is doing is cutting voltage and really I think the correct way to do this is with some kind of a pulse width modulator where it's still sending out 120 volts, just sending it out you know on off like a really rapid switch. But I haven't I've used this probably 10 or 12 hours and. I can't tell it's hurt anything. And I've heard of other people running them with the same thing and not having problems. But like I said, sometimes you got to set your free speed quite a bit higher because they're down on power once you start cutting voltage. So like your free speed may be, let's say, 8,000. And then once you get under a load, it's 4,000. So, you know, if you're targeting six, you may have to run it at 12 free speed. It's not like a die grinder where it kind of don't get phased um, by the load as much. But... It's workable, and like when you got a long cutter, they don't want to go as fast because they can get some, you know, they get kind of wobbly and get a vibration in them, and that's not good on stuff. But, but anyways, this this beats listening to my air compressor running twenty four seven, and obviously a sixteen dollar die grinder is cheaper than a seventy dollar electric die grinder and a thirty dollar speed controller. But for a hundred bucks, if you got nothing and you don't have a good air compressor. It's not a bad way to get in the game because you're still going to spend some money on cutters and stuff too. But I'm actually pretty surprised with how much I like this. I've, I haven't gone back to the, the air since I got it. So longevity wise, I don't know. Time will tell on that. But uh, I just wanted to pass along this tip. Like I said, I didn't come up with this, but it's very, very helpful. And you can kind of go in there and tune that. And uh, I think I saw somewhere else a guy, he runs his speed control before his splitter and then he's got two or three die grinders plugged into it and he can control all three of them at the same time without changing nothing so i just got my die grinder and my light plugged in i don't want to dim my light obviously but uh just want to pass that trick along hopefully that helps somebody out